Thank you, Don. It has been a tough year for small business navigating the coronavirus pandemic, but a Virginia Beach bakery is taking yet another hit. That business became the target of thieves earlier this week. Penny, your side's Gina Revelo tells us what they took. Tom, someone stole a catalytic converter from the delivery van belonging to Twisted Sisters Sugar Shack Cafe. We're told the financial impact goes beyond repairs. For the last decade, Twisted Sisters Sugar Shack Cafe has been whipping up cakes and other treats for the community. And we're part of some people's lives from their marriage to their baby being born. Owner Tracy Bushing says this van has been there through it all, helping deliver sweets across Hampton Roads. We had the van before we had anything else. We've had that for all 10 years. But things turned sour this week when someone swiped the van's catalytic converter. The theft discovered as the driver was getting ready to make deliveries. And he goes, uh, that does not sound normal. So climbed underneath that and noticed that there were wires cut, a big gap between where the two pipes are supposed to go. The thieves damaged other parts of the vehicle in the process, and the repairs are not cheap. We're talking probably close to $4,000 just for that. The van will be out of commission for at least a week, meaning a loss of income for the business and the delivery driver. Another blow during the pandemic. We're used to doing wedding cakes for 150 to 200 people, so our business has already been affected. Bushing says the theft is an unfortunate icing on the 2020 cake. But we're not going into the slower season as comfortable or as you know, where we normally would be. So it is kind of scary. You know, things are a little bit tighter than normal. But it won't keep them down. They're encouraging the community to stop by their store on Virginia Beach Boulevard until they're on the road again. And we love the people who come in here and support us, and we want to keep making them happy by, you know, making cakes for them. Bushing says they're in the process of trying to file a police report, and they also plan to install surveillance cameras. Gina Arevalo, 10 on your side.